Hello friends, welcome to yet another Blender tutorial. This time we are going to sculpt a wearable. So we will delete this cube and shift S cursor to world origin shift A UV sphere and we go to our sculpt mode and then we have to switch on the dynamic topology tool the detail to about 6 pixels enable smooth shading and over here we will enable the symmetry it's already enabled in the X so we'll start with the head of the wolf of the werewolf I mean okay use the snake hook brush and increase the size of the brush and drag it so okay So we gradually we have to shape the head of the wearable first. Okay. So can do one thing. Let us control no x sorry x control rather x control click so that we are able to subdivide our geometry and over here we mask this area to draw the jaw m for mask for scale down shift f increase the intensity we mask this area to extrude the jaw control i for inverting the mask invert the mask control i and k for snake hook brush and we Keep the mouth open, okay? Because we'll have to show the teeth of the wearable, the fears looking wearable, okay? So now what we do is uh, we reduce, uh, I mean not reduce, uh, clear the mask. Alt M, we clear the mask. And, uh, okay. Yeah. basically what we do now is we just drag out the outline of the whole werewolf instead of working on the details which we will do later let us drag out the, the Whole body, okay. Make it small. Okay, snake hook. Drag out the ears. Okay. Okay. I for the inflate brush. Now what we will do is we will save our progress before there is any crash. Okay. 
before any crash takes place, we are always to play safe. We need to save our progress, okay? Uh, while save as we'll create a diagram here on the blank graph, we'll call it W E R E W O L F variable, okay? And that's the variable directly again with type variable and label. Save it and then we we'll start to drag out the rest of the body. Okay, so don't worry about the final shape, we can keep shaping it. Let us first drag out the full body. Okay. So, uh, we mask this area to extrude the hands, make it smaller. Control I invert the mask. K for snake hook again. Okay. All them. Remove the mask. And grab this. Grab this lower area. I don't think what is too long. It should be just be okay. Okay. And here we must is to draw the legs out. Control by invert the mask. Okay, snake hook. Bigger size, three per side view.
That's right. That's right. That's right. This is the kind of outline okay, on which we are going to build our variable character. I think it is as G grab, G grab. We have to make certain basic corrections. Okay. size I or inflate 
So we are gradually building up a werewolf from scratch. I for inflate. Gradually, slowly build it step by step, no hurry. Okay, I can wait. So we are going to inflate these fingers too because later on they should not create a problem. Okay. Fingers need some good definition, especially the last one. This one, this one. Needs good definition. Details much later. Okay. So what about the feet? some work here. So 
yes keep saving progress okay Now do you do one thing? I think it's it's taken it to out the world. I think suppose we last to say uh, suppose we say we drop in the chest a bit. G grab grab Okay. I translate I translate again and do this something public. Inflate I have inflate. Just coming up. I'm not happy with the fingers though. Not worth grabbing this one. What about the head part? What about drawing the eyes over here? What about the nostrils here? X the other direction. Almost like a dog's. Yeah. Oh, 
I find the head, I create a crease over here. So some kind of shape we are getting, yeah, though we are not still happy with it, and I think we need to perhaps change the shape a bit. here place and click the size of the brush. Control this. And let's see a different material. Matte cap material. Work at the school. This is really cool. So, our werewolf is coming up. Okay. Happy, not so happy. Okay. Let's, uh, uh, shall we stop it? 
not so happy in the hands then to the yes perhaps we need to get some nails okay so uh, i think we'll stop with this and because it seems that the video tutorial might continue too long so we'll stop it here and we'll continue to sculpt our werewolf in the next part okay save the progress so therefore uh, if you have been helped watching this video tutorial kindly like it share this video tutorial with your friends and most important of all please do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for such imaginative videos such imaginary creatures to create lots of them to come in future so good night take care keep practicing more and more bye till then